Hello everyone, today we are going to demonstrate to you how to determine the pattern efficiency of the sprinkler irrigation system. We also call this experiment as the CAN experiment. So before moving into the practical procedure, I think it's better to give you a brief introduction uh, about the sprinkler irrigation system. So actually the sprinkler irrigation system means in this irrigation system what we are doing is we are supplying water to the crops in a form of a rainfall. Uh, to meet the crop water requirements with the maximum water utilization efficiency. So this depends on several factors. First one is how much water we are supplying and also the rate of operating of the sprinklers and other factor is the uh, distribution uniformity that is uh, how much uniformly the water has been distributed uh, within the crops. Uh, so those are the basic uh, factors which uh, determine uh, the distribution uh, of the sprinklers. Uh, the other uh, thing that we have to determine is the distribution uniformity. This depends on uh, several factors. That is the first one is the uh, type of nozzle that we are using in the sprinklers and the other thing is the spacing between the sprinklers and also it depends on the operating pressure of the sprinklers. So when we come to the operating pressure, we can operate the sprinklers at high pressure or at low pressure. So if we are operating at low pressure, what will happen? The sprinkling droplets will be large and they will place in a position which is very close to the sprinklers. So if the operating pressure is high, what will happen? The droplets will split into the tiny droplets and they will place in a far away position from the sprinkler. So th those are the basic details that you have to know when you are doing the uh, experiment. So now I think you can move into the experimental procedure. Let's move to the practical procedure of determination of the pattern efficiency of a sprinkler irrigation system. This experiment called CAN experiment. First of all, we have to select a suitable area with a sufficient space. Then lay out the sprinkler system and install the sprinkler head at the center of the ground. Then divided the area around the sprinkler into squares of equal area, that 1, me one meter 1 meter length. Then place a can at the center of each square. The can should be about 1 meter apart. Then operate the sprinkler head and collect water for about half an hour. Then measure the water content which has collected into individual can using a measuring cylinder. Can experiment help to determine the distribution uniformity and uniformity coefficient. Distribution uniformity is the average water applied to 25% dry irrigated area divided by the uh, average water applied to a total irrigated area. This is helped to how evenly water applied through the field. Uniformity coefficient is a measurable index of a degree of uh, uniform uniformity obtained for any kind of a sprinkler system in a given condition. This uniformity coefficient depend on the uh, pressure nozzle uh, relationship, wind condition and the sprinkler spacing. This uh, uniformity coefficient should be 85% or more than that for satisfactory level. There I have some key points we have to consider in this experiment. Uh, when to place the can, we have to uh, place the can in center of each square to indicate the precipitation falling on that area. And also, when place the can, place the can in elevated position to avoid the splashing effect. And also in crop field, uh, the can should be uh, positioned above the crop level. This experiment also helped to evaluate the wind effect uh, to the uh, distribution pattern. 